Hello writers, RJ Tessman here with more tips for your writing life. Whenever we have completed a book, one of the things we need to do is to set up some speaking events because now you are kind of considered an expert in your field and you want to promote the words that you have written and get them out there in the world so they can have an impact on others. So this might involve writing up a press kit, putting it on your website, or doing some cold calls, or starting out contacting the places where you usually see speakers, uh, different types of service clubs, uh, your church, um, any kind of organizations that you're involved with. So don't be afraid to market yourself because that's part of marketing your book. Once you've got the speaking event ready to go, uh, there's all kinds of great tips that you can take with you, like having someone with you to help um, with the payment at the end of your speech. But during the speech, during the talk, you want to be careful to use the, a lot of the main uh, tips that we all learned in speaking class high school 101. One of the main ones, of course, is eye contact. And of course, that's kind of hard when you've got a, a room full of people. Uh, and when you may feel a little bit nervous. But one of the tricks I learned is that if you look just right above people's heads, kind of right on their hairline, it looks like you're looking right in their eyes as you pan the crowd. And that way everybody feels like they are included. Another thing to remember is to play to the room. For those of us who are right hand dominant, we tend to speak toward the left, but then there's this whole group of people over here. So we have to make sure that we go over here as well and speak to those people and speak to the outer edges of the room as well. If you're a lefty, you tend to go that way. So you've got to think about people over here and people about the outer ridges, uh, ridges of, of the room so that everybody feels included in what you're talking about. And then be really careful when you set up a PowerPoint presentation. PowerPoints are great. Everybody likes to see the colors and the charts and the graphs and the images, and it kind of helps give your speech a little bit extra more credibility. But you have to make sure there's somebody there who knows how to do the techie stuff, who knows how to have the right chords, the right uh, flash drive or whatever it is that you need. Uh, make sure you've got a clicker so you're not running around doing weird things. And then make sure that your screen and, and your view is either right here to your side or, or in front of you. Nothing is worse than having a speaker constantly turn around to look at their screen and their projection and read from their screen with their back to the audience. So be very careful about how you set up your PowerPoint presentation. And then I think it's also important to have some kind of a handout for people to something to take home, something they can jot down notes with. Um, so you want to take care of that as well. So these are just some major tips uh, about presenting your work, presenting your book, doing your speaking, and very important for authors to learn how to do well. One of my clients gave me a great quote, which I will end with. You may feel butterflies when you're speaking. And that's okay. Just make sure the butterflies fly in formation. Keep writing. Your words matter.